Howdy folks, Donald Ward McCarthy here again with Keller Williams Realty, uh, just bringing you your Junction Triangle update for May 2019. Uh, just above me here you had a quick uh, synopsis of um, the entire GTA market and the 416 and, and what stuff was selling for. Uh, so let's dig down into Junction Triangle uh, for sales in May of 2019. There were five sales uh, in Junction Triangle, so let's dig in straight away. Uh, number one was 225 Perth Avenue. So this one was right across the street from, if you recall, uh, a month uh, in my re last update, we spoke about, I think it was 240 Perth, sold for 1,238,700, I believe, off the top of my head. Uh, a smaller home, no garage. Um, it was updated for sure, but it was definitely a record sale in Junction Triangle. Um, so right across the street then, and uh, 225 Perth came up last or in May. Uh, listed at 800, so definitely listed low by the real estate agent. So they had offer night, offer night came nine days later and it sold for 23% above asking uh, for 980. Uh, so about right on the money there. Um, you know, I don't think it was, it was a great deal for the buyer. Sometimes we have that, of all the sales that I'm talking about this month, uh, there haven't been any where I kind of go, that was the deal of the month. They were all kind of right on the money where I felt they should have sold. Next was 80 Osler Street. Um, so this is on Osler, uh, or Osler, some people uh, uh, call it, just north of DuPont there, heading up towards the tracks. Um, so of course, that is just out of the tracks there, is still in Junction Triangle. So 80 Osler there, it was a 12.9 foot by 97 foot lot, one of those uh, row houses, the two story ones. Um, listed at 850, sold in three days for 850. Okay. Next was 246 Symington Avenue. Uh, here again, listed low um, at 899, sold in eight days for a million and 30. Um, lot size here was 17.83 by 125, semi detached, two story with a detached one car garage. So, again, you know, where I feel it should have sold. And then 232 Sterling Road. So this one is just south of Bloor there on uh, Sterling Road. So this is a renovated home, uh, a row house, two story, 17 foot by 121. Um, listed at a million, sold for 1.157. Uh, so a good result there uh, indeed. And finally, um, and here's maybe where I think th th there was a bit of a deal for the buyer. 210 Campbell, if you recall, I spoke about this one last month. Um, they had listed it at 999 initially, hoped for multiple offers, and uh, then they repriced it. It sat for a while, and then they reduced the price to 1.138 million. And after 39 days in the market, ultimately sold it for a million. So that was a three unit, uh, probably legal non conforming, definitely wasn't a legal triplex. I checked it out um, with a detached two car garage on Campbell, just opposite the park there. Uh, so if there was anything that was a deal uh, last month, I think it was possibly 210 Campbell Avenue. There you have it, folks. Um, so those are the five sales for Junction Triangle. Below me here, you'll see a little chart uh, that goes into sales from December 1st to May 31st in Junction Triangle. It kind of is an aggregate and gives you an average of the different types of sales and what they got for detached, you know, uh, detached two bedroom or three bedroom semis and row houses. So it gives you kind of a six month picture which is a far better determinant of what our values are in Junction Triangle than just focusing in the five sales which we just spoke about. Thanks folks, Donald Ward McCarthy here, Keller Williams Realty. Do reach out if you need anything, you need a trade, electrician, plumber, or maybe uh, you're refinancing your home, maybe you're looking at investing. Um, we're here for all aspects of real estate, not just buying or selling. Thanks so much, talk to you next month, ciao.